Hi. So this is a follow-up of my MIDI playback demo that I made uh, a few days ago. So this is a new thing that you can do now. It's maybe not as useful as the other one because you have to generate samples yourself, but it is more interesting to watch at least. So there's a new extension now that is called FOC Play Samples. And uh, what this one does is that you give it a vector of 8-bit samples and a frequency to play them at and a voltage. And uh, as such, you can play any vector of samples, really. And I'm going to demonstrate how to play an mp3 file here using the motor. Now, the challenge with doing that in general is that if you, in order to play samples, you have to generate samples somewhere or you have to store them. And uh, audio takes a lot of space, so you couldn't really, unlike the MIDI file, which is very small, it's only a set of commands, you can upload that into a script. The mp3 file, you couldn't really realistically upload a big, big one, even though you can run the decoder fine on the desk, although it takes a bit of RAM to do that. So what I have done on this demo is that if you go to the QML scripting page and examples, there is an mp3, MP3 stream example. And what this one does is that it will open a mp3 file locally. I have this thing called a new class based on the mini mp3 decoder. There is a link to that on uh, the source code, I think. But um, essentially I have added some mp3 decoding support to VASC tool and I did not use Q to multimedia because that is quite heavy and makes VASC tool probably twice as big. So this is just an mp3 decoder that you can use at the moment. So in order to use this, you can just open the example as it is, and then you have to paste in a path to an mp3 file here. And then when you run the example, it will start by decoding the file and making an array with just the raw samples in memory. And um, then it will show up on the right side here. In order to see if you decoded something, you can click restart here and then it should show the number of samples, the sampling rate, and I think this is the length of the file in minutes. So now that I have this one running, the VASC can ask VASC tool for chunks of samples and play them back. So in order to do that, you go to the LISPM scripting page and you also go to examples and then there is this uh, play mp3 example here. And now all you need to do, if you manage to load an mp3 file, is to stream this one, or upload it. And I will pull it at the same time, start the motor because I can. Also note regarding the motor, and this applies to both this one and the previous example, is that uh, when you are not using sensors or, an, or HFI and the motor is not running, it will not always play as loud because the samples are injection, injected along the Q-axis, that is where it gets the most torque in the motor. So if you don't know the position, which you won't know if the motor is not running and you don't have sensors or HFI, then you're most likely not to be aligned with the Q-axis and that makes it a bit more silent, a bit more quiet to play them back. So, connect, run the motor, run it a bit slower, and now do stream. And you can hear the motor play the audio. It is actually quite loud. And you can use the arrow keys and everything. Or that is current control. Also keep in mind if you start pulling data from too many sources it will start to lag a bit because then you are sending a lot of stuff on the USB. Uh, one interesting thing to show with this one, I will stop it for now, is that um, a motor actually has uh, a lot higher frequency response, so it will have a lot more gain on low frequencies, so this one actually has a high pass filter. But something that is a bit fun is to uh, more or less disable the high pass filter, so now it will uh, have more or less the full frequency range when I run this. And then I have to go and uh, decrease the amplitude a bit. So now I saw, now you can see that all of the volume we had before, which isn't too bad, 
uh, was at only 0.3 volts and you can go up a bit here but if we run 0.3 volts without the low pass filter it will be very shaky from all of the low frequencies so I will take it down to 0 0.15 volts and run the example again and run the motor and if you hold it it's actually quite a good subwoofer if I attach it yeah if I can keep it still So maybe this has some kind of application if you have a low pass filter and attach some kind of motor or activator to a wall then you can make a then you can play very low frequencies at not the highest quality but uh, still a bit interesting so that is the demo i had for today